To improve uptime and reduce your time at the dealership, Packard Engine and After Treatment software updates are now available over the air. If you are responsible for your vehicle's maintenance schedule, this video is for you. In this video, we'll cover how to download the Packard OTA mobile app, understand the app and its features, enable trucks for OTA updates, perform an OTA software install, and troubleshoot. To take advantage of over-the-air updates, you'll need to download the Packard OTA mobile app from either the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Once downloaded, you will need to enter in the same email address and password as your Packard Solutions credentials. Then select Sign In. When you enter the app, you'll see a menu of items at the top. You can scroll back and forth to find the menu option of interest. Now let's talk about how to enable your truck to receive an OTA update. This is a multi-step process that requires two visits to the truck. You must first enable the truck to make it available for an OTA update, and then you must revisit the truck to install the update once it becomes available. When you're ready to update a truck, you must first enable it, which allows the truck to receive an over-the-air update. In other words, your truck needs to first connect to the OTA server to become OTA capable. Until your truck is enabled, it won't be able to receive an update. To enable a truck, you or someone in contact with you must be present in the truck. When you are ready, select Enable My Truck in the Vehicle Details screen of the app. You will then need to follow the steps listed on the screen. Either you or someone in the vehicle must turn the key to the on position. Then, press and hold the cruise control set switch for five seconds to connect to the truck. This will create the connection between the truck and the OTA server. Once you've established a connection, you will see an in-progress screen with a bar that shows your progress towards completion. After you have successfully enabled the vehicle, the status of the vehicle will change to up to date. Please note, this means that the vehicle is now ready to receive an inbound software package. This is not the installation of the software itself. If for some reason you were not able to successfully enable the truck, the app will provide you with an alert and the truck will return to an unsuccessful or action required bucket. You can attempt to enable it again from the then details screen. We'll cover additional troubleshooting later. You will be notified via email once an OTA update is ready for your truck. You can initiate it in the portal. Once downloaded, the truck will be available in the ready to install section in your app. When you're ready, select the vehicle from the VIN list. In the Details section, select Let's Get Started. You will then need to follow the steps listed on the screen. Either you or someone in the vehicle must turn the key to the on position. Then, press and hold the cruise control set switch for five seconds to connect to the truck. The truck will verify that it's safe to perform an update by checking the following preconditions. The engine is off, the key is on, the truck battery is sufficient, the parking brake is set, and that your phone battery is sufficiently charged to complete the update, typically at least 20% battery life. If any of the preconditions are not met, the installation cannot be started. If the preconditions are met, the installation will begin. A warning message will appear, turning off the ignition or starting the engine may result in damage to the truck. Select OK to acknowledge the warning and accept the conditions. Select Start Installation. Progress may be viewed during the update. While the installation is in progress, you can navigate elsewhere in the app and begin installation of other trucks if applicable. At the end of the installation process, you'll receive a notification in the results section, prompting you to complete the installation by turning the key to the off position for at least 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, turn the key to the on position. Your vehicle will shortly return to an up-to-date status. You will then receive a notice that the software is up-to-date. All vehicles that are waiting on you to perform an action will appear at the top of the VIN list. Aside from needing to cycle the ignition to complete an installation, the following situations may trigger action required. Turning the key off before being prompted to do so. Starting the engine while the process is running triggering the low voltage disconnect, turning off the battery disconnect, attempting to connect with Davy 4 
or another vehicle diagnostic tool, a communication error during installation. If one of these failures has not caused damage to the truck, you will be able to manually retry the installation. Make sure the preconditions are met and follow the on-screen instructions. A manual retry is always preferred over canceling the installation. You may need to contact our dedicated support team if any of the following are true. If your vehicle displays an unsuccessful state. If canceling the update and rolling back to the previous software has failed. In the event reception is lost during an update. If the battery is disconnected during the update and the truck is stuck in progress.